Hello guys, welcome to Scan to Train. My name is Imano and I'm back with another tutorial. I'm um, sorry I haven't been posting videos this past uh, week. You know, I've been busy with um, exams. So, you know, the stress got to me so I just couldn't make videos. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, but you know what, as the summer's coming up, I'm gonna try to make more content for, and I'm gonna try to, you know, be more constant. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make more content for the videos. So, you know, you guys should pretty much uh, give me ideas in, in the comment section pretty much give me ideas on what I should you know because I, I think that uh, I'm just pretty much just making drawing drawing so I want to make extra content for you guys so give me more ideas in the comment section and uh, you know I'll, I'll, I'll make more content for you guys so uh, with this in mind let's get on with the tutorial okay um, in this tutorial I'm gonna be teaching you um, how to draw manga eyes and uh, as you can see I drew six um, areas here or six spaces here uh, for uh, you know the eyes and uh, what I was thinking is draw three uh, drift, um, different um, female eyes here at the top and here at the bottom um, draw three different uh, male eyes okay okay um, so I decided that um, I'm gonna divide this video into two parts okay the first part is gonna be the first three female eyes and the second part is gonna be the remaining three um, male eyes okay because I think that this video is definitely um, gonna take forever so um, that's why I decided to, to divide this video into two parts okay so with this in mind I'm gonna start with the first eye that is a girl's eye uh, here at the at the top and I'm gonna zoom in and uh, explain to you how to draw a female eye okay um, so the first thing that you have to keep in mind is that um, um, there aren't, there isn't a um, one way to draw manga eyes. Okay, there are a lot of ways of different ways to draw manga eyes. So what I decided is, is that um, in the first two um, spaces, I'll pretty much uh, exp um, draw the two most common uh, manga eyes, or the two most common that that I uh, used to use, anyways. And uh, the third one is pretty much just a uh, you know a uh, another um, like an extra style. Okay, it's not as common, but still you can pretty much use it okay so uh, the first thing that you want to start before um, drawing a manga eye is pretty much drawing like an oval shape okay uh, I pretty much erased the first one because uh, I think it was uh, too much to the top and uh, first you want to draw an oval shape here for the iris okay so um, after drawing the oval shape here um, you want to start like uh, drawing the upper what do you call it the upper eyelash here and the upper eyelash is um, thicker than the uh, lower eyelash okay so um, keep that in mind and uh, in this video I'm gonna be teaching you um, like uh, you know the logic behind drawing manga eyes okay so uh, once you got this logic that you know first draw an oval shape and then you know the upper eyelash is uh, thicker than the lower eye on the lower one you can pretty much from here you can pretty much make any uh, you know come up with any um, style or I don't know uh, you can make it as, as attractive as you want okay you can pretty much come up with anything okay so the first um, um, what I'm doing here is pretty much thickening the uh, upper eyelash okay and then here you pretty much gonna come down like this like a like an arrow okay when it comes to the end okay like that and here at the at the other side uh, it's pretty much like it goes from thick to thin okay so keep that in mind and uh, you, know, you know what I'm gonna draw like extra like an eyelashes here like that three is enough I think and um, yeah once you got this uh, logic you can pretty much uh, come up with anything like I don't know the eyelashes here at the at the bottom you can pretty much make anything up and um, here at the iris I would recommend that the sides here are thicker okay you make you should make these sides here thicker than the you know inner part okay so that's what I'm doing right now thickening here and um, after this now we're, we're drawing the uh, the uh, highlights of the eyes what I usually do uh, is pretty much draw a big highlight here at the at the upper left here. Uh, that's my uh, that's what I usually do. Okay, what I do is draw an, uh, b the biggest um, highlight here at the upper left, and I draw a small highlight here at the 
lower right okay so this is what what I usually do okay you do not have to uh, copy me or anything okay but this is uh, my way okay so I draw one here and one at the bottom and then you know you can pretty much make as many highlights as you want but I would recommend that you don't make uh, you know too much and then here at the middle you know pretty much um, like uh, show the uh, the pupil here at the middle and uh, you know what I'm gonna draw like uh, another highlight here like this you know you can pretty much make any as, as many highlights as you want okay like that and uh, after this now we're gonna start drawing the uh, the fold of the upper the eyelids here folds here and uh, you know what you can make I, I well what what I would recommend you is make like the most folds is two okay I I wouldn't I wouldn't advise you to make more than two folds okay and uh, the first fold here should be bigger than the upper one okay so keep that in mind and uh, you know what I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you guys can see the uh, you know drawing the the, the uh, what do you call this the the eyebrows and uh, female eyebrows hold on I'm gonna go down a little bit female eyebrows aren't thick okay they are thin and long <laughs> uh, once you got that uh, you know you pretty much can make uh, any uh, female eyebrows okay so just pretty much keep that in mind whenever you're drawing female eyebrows and uh, you know I'm not exactly you know making it perfect but you know you get the idea I'm just I'm just showing you how I would draw a female eye okay all right and as you can see this wasn't hard okay and uh, I'm gonna try to draw this as uh, you know as fast as possible because I've, I've got five more uh, um, ahead okay so um, what I'm gonna do now is pretty much finish this uh, eye up and I'll go to the next one and explain how to draw the next one Okay, as you can see, I'm done with this I and uh, what I would say about the coloring is that, um, you know, as you can see, it goes from a dark blue to a light uh, blue, okay, so it's like a gradient, okay, so always keep that in mind whenever you're, um, I don't know, coloring uh, any eye, really, okay, that, uh, you know, it's a gradient color, not a flat color, but it depends on however uh, you want to color it, but, um, you know, that's an advice that I would give you, okay, so um, with that in mind, let's go to the uh, next eye. Okay, um, this eye is pretty much the same concept, okay, so we're always gonna use the same concept. First, the iris, okay, we're gonna draw uh, an oval shape here, like that. It doesn't have to be perfect, you can pretty much make any kind of, uh, make it as perfect or however you want, okay. And um, now we're gonna draw the upper eyelash here, okay. Remember, the upper one is thicker than the lower one. And uh, we're gonna draw the lower one here, like that, like this. Okay, so once, once we got this, now we're gonna, we can make, we can now start giving shape to the eye, okay? So um, what I'm thinking that this eye should be, it's a little bit rounder than the other one, okay? So it's gonna go like this, gonna go down like that. And when it comes here, and this one is the right eye, not the uh, left one. Uh, so it's gonna go down like this, okay? Like that, and uh, pretty much just finish it off here at the, at the end, like that. And I'm gonna give her a couple lashes here, okay? Like that, and then here, just everything goes to the to the bottom like that, okay? So, um. We've gotten the basic shape of the eye, now we can start drawing the inner parts. And as I mentioned before, what I like to do is pretty much 
uh, draw the the bigger biggest highlight here at the upper left uh, but you know you can pretty much draw it anywhere you want and the lower highlight here at the lower lower right and uh, you know pretty much the same thing give her a shape like uh, you know shape the iris or no the pupil here in the middle and I'm gonna give her an extra highlight here you know the highlights is pretty much just you can pretty much um, you know um, uh, play with it you can make as many as you think and uh, you know if it looks good then you know, it's okay you can pretty much leave it uh, you know what I'm gonna I'm not gonna put this one here I think I'm gonna put one here at the other side like that like two two bubbles here the big bubble here and then another small one here I think that looks better maybe tell me what you think <laughs> if it doesn't then you know too bad <laughs> I mean I cannot change it once you you know told me but anyways um yeah this is how it gonna it's gonna look and uh now we're gonna draw the the folds here at the upper eyelid and then here at the upper part we're gonna draw like a little small uh you know fold there okay so as i mentioned before the first two eyes are the most common ones that you can see and pretty much what the eyes that everyone wants to learn how to you know draw okay so um that's why i, I decided to make the two most common eyes uh at the first okay and uh, here we're pretty much gonna do the same thing, just thin and long, okay? Keep that in mind, thin and long. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, what I'm gonna do now is finish this thing, uh, this eye again, and uh, come back and go to the, you know, the next eye. Okay, as you can see, I'm done here with the uh, the second eye, and uh, I color it a little different, um, you know, uh, pretty much uh, orange. And uh, in every eye, I'm gonna color it a different color. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to the next one right now. Okay, um, so we're gonna start the same thing. Okay, um, so this eye is gonna be a little bit different than the other ones. Okay, but the concept is gonna be the same thing. Okay. So I just want you, I would just want you guys to know that the concept is the same, and uh, you can pretty much make any uh, any kind of eye you want, or and I don't know any emotion or anything. Uh, I think this this is gonna be a different emotion, okay? So it's gonna be like a surprised eye, okay? So first we're gonna draw the oval, and uh, the, and then we're gonna draw the upper eyelid or the upper eyelash, sorry, and um, and the lower one, okay? So the more separated they are from the eyes, the uh, you know the uh, the more surprised the person looks. Okay, so keep that in mind. And um, now we're, um, we're gonna start giving it shape to the eyes. Okay, and um, what I decided is, is the the eyelashes are gonna be a little bit round. Okay, so it's gonna go like this. It's gonna go all the way to the bottom here, and then when it reaches ar around this area here, it's gonna go like that okay like the uh, you know the little arrow that we used to give it so from there we're gonna give it like thickness here we're gonna thicken a little bit like that okay like so and I'm gonna give her eyelashes here like long ones here one two three and uh, I think that's pretty much enough. I'm not. It's best not to, you know, over overdo it. And I added, and I added here one more. And uh, yeah, and uh, for the uh, lower eyelash, just one like one line like this, and um, another line that goes like that. I'm not gonna, uh, you know, overdo it. And uh, yeah. So uh, for the highlight, I'm not gonna go to the, uh, you know, the upper left. I'm gonna 
do the biggest highlight here at the lower left here you know just to spice things up a little bit so you guys can know how you know that it doesn't it doesn't matter where the highlight is it just as long as you know it look, if it looks good then you know then go with it you know go for it I mean you don't have to stick with one one way of doing things okay and then I will add like one highlight here like this probably like this and uh, you know give shape to the pupil here at the middle as always you don't have to finish it off you know you can pretty much leave a little space here at the top uh, you know we're probably not gonna see because this whole thing is gonna be black and here's gonna be black as well and then you know in the middle here like that you know what I'm probably not gonna color it black I think I'm gonna color the eye the whole eye except for this pupil here the middle uh, a, you know one color I'm not gonna go black like this one okay here at the top so yeah I think with we're pretty much done with this eye and as you can see drawing eye is not as complicated um, as you might think um, you know it might look easy okay but you know with a little bit of practice it's, I promise you that it's just gonna be as, that it's gonna be as easy as you uh, you know it's gonna be very easy to draw once you know because anything uh, you know you, um, you can accomplish anything with a lot of practice okay so as the more you practice the better okay so keep that in mind so uh yeah i think i'm done with this and uh here are the folds we're gonna go like this one fold and then come down like that you know like it's pretty much like a y y shape okay so yeah and i'm gonna i think i'm gonna zoom out a little bit because this eye is a little bit bigger so i'm gonna zoom out and then so you guys can see the uh eyebrows okay so uh the camera couldn't you know get the whole frame of the uh, of the paper because you know the paper is not as big as I think but anyways um the eyebrows pretty much the same thing okay so um you know short and I mean um thin and long okay so keep that in mind it's pretty much the same concept except for this eye is a little bit bigger than these other ones I don't know why I made a little I don't I made it bigger but uh anyways uh, you know pretty much the same concept thin and long uh, th yeah thin and long so once you keep have that in mind you can pretty much make any eyebrow or any eyes okay so uh, yeah so what I'm gonna do now is pretty much finish the whole eye and then come back and then go to the male eyes Alright guys, uh, I'm done with this, so uh, let's get on with the next one, that is the male eyes. <laughs> 